Typically when I'm recording, I'm using my one. That's great for when I'm recording by myself. However, if uh, I decide to jam with someone else, I do need another input because uh, one only offers one input, whether it's instrument, external mic, or using the internal mic. So I'm going to run you through a process called aggregating devices in your audio MIDI setup. And for this example, I'm going to use jam by Apogee and I'm gonna aggregate it to one by Apogee. So let's take a look. I am going to head over to my audio MIDI setup. Uh, best way to do that is to get over to your utilities folder. I like to use go in the menu bar and select utilities. Okay, then navigate to your audio MIDI setup, double click. Okay, so in this window, um, you basically can see all of the different options you have for input and output uh, that are connected to the computer right now. I see one listed because I have one connected to the computer. I see my built-in input output. I'm gonna go ahead and at this point connect jam to the computer as well. Now I have both Jam and One connected, and you can see that Jam just appeared in the list of devices in my audio MIDI setup. In order to create an aggregate device, it's very simple. All I'm gonna do is head to the bottom left-hand corner of that window, click once on the plus, and select Create Aggregate Device. Okay, here you can double-click on the title aggregate device if you wanna name it. I'm gonna call this one One Jam. You can call it whatever you'd like. All right, now, in the menu just to the right of uh, the one jam that I just created, I'm going to select the options that I want to make one device. All right, so here I'm gonna click on one, and then I'm gonna click on jam, and now I have an aggregate device. You can quit your audio MIDI setup, and head into your DAW. I'm using Logic right now. Go to your preferences and audio, and now here you're going to see that aggregate device that we just set up listed there. And you can see here I have jam one. So you're gonna select that for your input and output. All right, so we're gonna close that window and create a second track by clicking once on the plus here. There we go, we have both of our tracks and you're gonna go ahead and hit create. Now, I'm gonna show you a neat trick on how to label your IO. So an important thing to point out, when we created our, our aggregate device, uh, we selected one first. So one is actually set up as input one here in Logic. We selected jam second, so jam is set up as uh, our second input. Now I'm gonna show you how to label them so you don't have to remember that. We're gonna head up to the menu bar under options. We're gonna go to audio, and then all the way down to IO labels. All right, here. First, we're gonna take a look at input one. So uh, you might have the radio button to the left of input one selected if it is, or if uh, provided by driver selected, I want you to uh, change it to user. So click this uh, radio button here. And just to the right of that, we are going to title this one. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing for input two. Check the radio button under the user column and name this one to jam. All right, now when selecting our inputs, we're not gonna have to remember which is which. I'm gonna close this window. And now you can see over here that under IO, I have my IO labeled. Now what I'm gonna do for input one, it's already set to one. I'm gonna go to input two and change it from one to jam. There we go, now both input one and input two are set up the right way. And now we're ready to record. Plays upon her hair. And I hear the sound of the gentle word on the wind that lifts her perfume through the air. And I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me excitations. I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me. 